Hello and welcome to the C++ and Science YouTube channel, where I will teach you various topics around C++. I'm your host, Andreas Fertig, a trainer and consultant for C++. Today is concept expert time. I personally always aim to do everything I can at compile time. I'm a big fan of that. And here I have some example. I have this function sum calculation which takes one single parameter i it's const expr so it means it can be executed at compile or at runtime internally it simply subtracts i from six and here i have my uses so i have my object alfred which calls some calculation at compile time and i have another object robin which also calls some calculation at compile time just with a different value. And then I have the two runtime object, Clark and Louis, which basically call some calculation like we just saw it with one and zero. One issue that sometimes occurs if you're writing context per code is that you hit a point where you need a function in that context per function that's not context per. And that's a bummer. Usually then you have to make this entire function a runtime function only. So I have such a case here. In my sum calculation, I have an assert. And that assert ensures that i is greater than zero. Otherwise, it prints out a message. So that's a rough idea. The problem is now, because I'm executing that at compile and runtime, I cannot use the regular C assert, as we all know it. I wrote my own assert function here, which is const expr. It takes a condition as the first parameter, a string view as the second, the message, and then what we saw in the last episode is to source location object using a default parameter to current. Internally now, in line number 12, it uses a new C++20 element, std is constant evaluated. This one is a very special function where we can query whether this code is executed at compile or at runtime, so at const evaluation time or at runtime. What I'm checking here for is that we are not in a constant evaluated context, so not at compile time, then check whether the condition is not met, and if so, I'll put a message, which we can see here, which is, I think, very close to the original assert message, and after that, call terminate. So what I gained here is that I now did build myself a assert function that I can use at compile and runtime. True, it doesn't do anything at compile time at the moment, but at the least I can use it in both contexts. Sometimes this is already a win. And if you want to know how to improve that even further, Stay tuned for the next episode. I hope this one here helped you to understand the reason for this constant evaluated and that it also helps you to write even more compile time const expert code. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.